Hey guys, Nick here from Tech2020, and today let's talk about cloning. More specifically, cloning a Neo Neanderthal, a species that existed over 600,000 years ago. Let's get started. <laughs> So how exactly do we go about cloning a Neo-Neanderthal, a species that is thousands and thousands of years old? Well, according to scientist George Church, it's actually pretty easy. It's more than theoretically possible to take a piece of DNA from a, that's, that's so degraded in a museum piece and put it into a cell and have that cell take on new properties due to what was old information but is essentially newly synthesized DNA. That can be extended to almost any extinct species that's recent enough that we've got that we can get DNA from it. Again, the technology has gone far enough that the average person on the street doesn't probably doesn't know that you can take a single cell from, say, skin of a mouse, or and make a, a cell that can make every cell in the body. And you can prove that by putting it into the normal embryogenesis process, and eventually out comes an animal that is entirely derived from that skin. Ethical issues and precepts aside, there are some that doubt the overall simplicity of the procedure, which Church and his team so zealously advocate. First off, in the case of Dolly, of the 29 embryos that were cloned, only one survived. Furthermore, in the case of the Pyrenean ibex, a species that went extinct in 2000, scientists froze over 439 embryos, and only seven resulted in pregnancies, and one ibex was actually born. Also, DNA has a relatively wimpy half-life, only 521 years, so to clone a prehistoric species, we would need to use a method far different from our current one, which is to transfer DNA from an individual into an egg cell. In fact, we would have to do it synthetically, which Church recognizes, but the Neanderthal genome is close to, but not fully sequenced. Finally, we have the issue of the mitochondrial DNA, the kind passed down from our mothers. It's substantially different from that of a Homo sapien, so we now have the question of whether or not the Neanderthal mDNA can live within a human. So there we have it. Cloning a Neanderthal? Very unlikely. And as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time, guys. Have a good one.